Welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet around rocks. That way they can be used as pendants. Here are a couple examples of how I've crocheted around some rocks. Today I'll be showing you more of this style right here. I'll be using a, I think it's a 1.25 millimeter hook. It's very, very tiny, very tiny. And I'll be using crochet cotton thread. It's also very, very tiny. So let's get started. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to make a slip knot with our thread. around the hook and then we'll be kind of looking and estimating and I think we'll probably do 12 chains. We'll start with 12. So we're going to chain 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we're gonna look, and I think that'll be a good amount. So we're going to connect the last chain to the first chain with a slip stitch. Chain one, and single crochet into the loop probably about 20 times. Actually, it's going to be about 22 times. 21 and 22. And then we're going to connect it to the first single crochet with a slip stitch and then chain one. And now we're going to test it and make sure that it's the right size for our rock. And it looks like it's perfect. Awesome. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is chain another one. So it's a total of chain two. And then double crochet once into every single crochet all the way around. And once you reach the end, you're going to slip stitch into the first double crochet of the row and then chain two. And now, there we go, sorry. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to double crochet into the first 
stitch and then we're going to chain two chain two and skip one stitch and double crochet into the next and we're going to do that all the way around chain two skip a stitch double crochet Now once you have one stitch left, you're going to chain two and skip that stitch and connect it to the top of your first double crochet of this round. And chain two. And now we're going to place it over the rock and it should fit pretty snug. The top part can be a little loose. We can fix that in the next round. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to double crochet into the first stitch, the top of the double crochet, and then we're going to not chain anything. We're just going to directly double crochet into the hole right here. Double crochet into the next hole. And do that all the way around. It's gonna kind of slip and slide around and that's perfectly fine, just keep going. Keep in mind, that the front of your rock needs to look the best. So you definitely want to make sure that everything is even and pulled up and showing some of that rock through the crochet. Now once you get to the end, you're going to slip stitch right into the top. It's a little tough, there you go. Slip stitch right into the top of that first double crochet. And now we're gonna make this into a pendant. Chain, let's start out with chaining six. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's kind of, okay, that's not enough. So we're gonna chain seven, eight. All right, eight should be enough. And so now, turn it around to the front and kind of decide where is as close to parallel with the back. So I would say about right here. Oh, no, not that one. So you're gonna kind of decide what is the straightest shot from the back and I think it's gonna be this guy right here. So we're going to slip stitch onto him, chain one, turn it this way, and single crochet all the way down this chain. And it's gonna take about 12 single crochets. And then slip stitch, into your first chain and double crochet, or around. 
and then chain one and I like to chain another one just for security and then we're gonna cut the tail and pull it through pull it tight and then we can hide the tail however you want but I would suggest hiding it rather than cutting it super, super short just to make sure it has extra security since this is gonna be worn somewhat on a daily basis. I mean, if you want, you know, I, I like wearing these on a daily basis. They're super fun. They're hypoallergenic when it comes to people who are allergic to metal. I know a couple people who are allergic to metal and this is something that they can actually wear. And that's very rare for people like that. So I just kind of shove it in there. Doesn't really matter. All right. Pull this up, maybe we can even adjust it so it's a little straighter. You don't have to if you like it. You know, however it turns out. It's pretty durable, don't be afraid to Really twist it if you would like. And there you go. A crochet wrapped rock pendant. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content and I'll see you here next time. Bye.